Hi, this is Kim from Emerging Creatively Tutorials, and this is ECT TV episode 57. So today we are going to learn how to make a fun pair of earrings, and I'm going to show you how to make the earring wire to go with it. It's part of the design. So let's just get to it. So first of all, let me show you what tools and materials you'll need for this tutorial. Um, first of all, you'll need beads, um, and I'm going to be using these gemstone chips, and I think I'm using them because they're kind of green and brown and remind me of spring, and right now here where I am, it is winter and they're calling for a couple feet of snow, and I really miss spring. <laughs> um, so you can use any bead you like, um, I'm using these gemstone chips as I said you could use any gemstone chips or alternatively you can really use any bead um, if you use another bead then just get two matching beads and just make sure they're not too heavy um, for your ears and then you'll need a 20 gauge half hard round wire any metal of your choice um, these are earrings though so if you have any kind of allergies to metal in your ear, just keep that in mind when you're choosing your wire. Just make sure it's 20 gauge, half hard, and round. And then for tools, you might need a ruler, a sharpie, um, wire cutters, chain nose pliers, and a wire rounder. Um, if you don't have that, then you know, any kind of jewelry file is fine. We're just going to make sure the file off the end of the earring wires that goes into your ears so you don't kind of snag them and it's not uncomfortable putting them on. And that is all you need. So I'm just going to start out by cutting two pieces of wire um, to five inches long each. If I find the end here. And I'm going to show you how to make one of these earrings and you just do the same thing on each earring. However, um, when you're actually making your pair, I suggest kind of doing each step on each earring wire as you go along um, to kind of keep, make sure your earrings stay the same. All right, so now I'm gonna make a flush cut on each end of the, these wires. Um, so to make a flush cut, you just use the back of your wire cutters, which is a nice flat side. The front is kind of concave, and you use that against the work. And it just makes a nice flat cut. So I'm just going to show you one earring uh, to save time. So we're going to make a knotted head pin basically out of this earring wire, um, well, out of this wire, and then we're going to turn it into an earring. Um, so to get started, and if you need your ruler, that's fine, I'm going to go a couple of inches down in the wire, it's about two, and I'm going to make a bend, so I'm bending it over, and then you're just going to pinch that down. can be tricky with your chain nose pliers um, and I have a little tip if you have um, crimp you have a crimp tool maybe do beading as well um, if you just take that and pinch it you can pinch that down nicely and now just hold the very tip in your um, chain nose pliers and take the shorter end and bend it up I'm just going to bend this part kind of straight out. And I usually make these with 22 gauge wire because the wire can get difficult to work with. With 20 gauge wire, it, gets, it starts to harden up as you work with it, and it's a little bit more difficult to use. Um, the 22 gauge is a little bit easier, but we're making earrings, so I want to make sure they keep their shape, and I'm, this entire um, piece will be also the earring wire for the earring. Um, so just know that it can be a little bit difficult to work with, but just be patient and it'll be fine. And now I'm just going to kind of hold this in my uh, chain nose pliers again. I call it a knotted head pin. Um, it's not really a real knot. It is actually a faux knot. It just sort of has a look of a knot. So we're going to be wrapping um, this wire around. So I'm just going to kind of wrap this wire around 
and we'll start to wrap, keep wrapping around. It can be a little bit tricky to kind of hold on to the wire while you're doing this. And you might want to adjust and hold it kind of this way. But just do your best and you'll see I'll probably lose my grip a few times. And you can do kind of a sloppy knot look or you can do a nice neat knot look with all your wraps just kind of all nice and close together, whatever you choose. All right, and so you never quite, well, I never can quite get the last little bit wrapped around very well. And like I said, this wire starts to harden up as you're working with it. So I just leave that little part out. And I just come in with my wire cutters and cut that, making a flush cut. And you just want to make sure that end is not poking out. So you can just come back in with your chain nose pliers and just push it in. Make sure that it is pushed in. Okay, so we basically have this nice long kind of head pin type thing. We have this little knot at the end to hold our beads on. And so now I'm going to just slide on my gemstone chips. And if you just wanted to use any bead you like, you can do that as well. I am using seven. So I'm just sliding them on. And this is a nice um, little project you can do if you have used kind of a strand of gemstone chips on a different project and you have, you know, a few left over, um, you're not sure what to do with, this is a good idea for that. All right, at this point, I would suggest that you make your other earring to this point um, because you want to do the rest of it kind of together. Okay, like magic, I now have two earrings here. And so now I'm going to show you how to do the rest of this. It's very simple. Um, so first we're going to make a little curve. We're going to make the earring wire part of this earring. Um, first of all, I was just looking and these two wires are not even. So I want them to be the same. I want my earrings to basically look the same when we're, they're done. Um, so I just trimmed off that excess wire. Don't do what I just did. I I just clipped that and it went, <laughs> I didn't grab the extra piece and it went flying. So now I have to go find that. I think it's on my table over here somewhere. So um, I'm going to use a Sharpie. This is um, a fine, ultra fine point Sharpie. So um, it's a little bit smaller. So you might want to look for a smaller marker or highlighter pen whatever you have around is fine and we're just going to go ahead and bend both these wires at the same time and just make sure they're lined up and we're just going to bend the wire around i just made sure my sharpie was as close to the beads as i could get um, because there is going to be a little bit of dead space without beads in the top, and that's fine. I made these earrings before, and I tried them on, and it looks great um, like this, so don't worry. Um, but I just try to keep that Sharpie as close to the beads as I can. Okay, and then I just like to make a little um, bend in the earring wire um, toward the bottom. So I'm just gonna hold these together so it's at the same spot. And it's just, I just sort of go kind of in the middle of my chain nose pliers and hold the wire and then just make a slight little bend up. So, I might bend it a little more than that. Just so it bends back a little bit. Okay, and then the final step is to just file the ends of these earring wires because um, they're going to be going through your ears and you don't want them to snag. Um, so you can just kind of rub a file against it and just do it so it's kind of round, rounded off. Or you can use a um, wire rounder and it has this little cup at the top that sands down um, your wire and makes it rounded. That's why it's called a wire rounder. So all you really do is insert 
the wire into the little cup at the top here and then you just spin this around I don't know why I like to go back and forth each way and then you can just rub your finger over it to see how it's working and how much more you have to keep going or if it's done um, you can just sort of feel and then do that to both earrings and you are done and if you're using a file um, you just would simply rub the um, the wire against the file the end and just sort of round it off and um, that's how you do that So I hope you had fun making those earrings. If you like that knotted look, I have a new e-workshop out called the Knotted Link Bracelet e-workshop. And it shows you how to make knotted links. Um, and we make a bracelet in the e-workshop, but you can definitely use those links in your other jewelry projects. You can make um, it longer and make a necklace. It's great as one strand and a multiple strand necklace or bracelet. Um, you might have seen me wearing that while I was making these earrings. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's super addictive and you can get the e-workshop over on my website at KimberlyKohler.com and I'll have the link below this video if you're watching this on YouTube so you can go right over there and pick that e-workshop up and make yourself a bracelet to match your earrings. So I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Until then, um, have fun making earrings.